Several new high schools are in the works to open up in the next few years, and many of them focus on new ways of teaching. Christine Sorensen is here with a Kidsburg report on these new high schools and trends in education. Christine. Well, Susan, the current model for high school looks a lot like it did 100 years ago. Students going to separate classes all day, taking geometry, then algebra two, and so on. But so much in our world has changed, especially how we work. And some educators are trying new ways to teach high school to better meet the skills kids will need when they graduate. City of Bridges High School, here we are. Here we are, yeah. Okay, so Welcome. City of Bridges High School wants to be a bridge to the future for high school kids using project-based learning and professionals as teachers. Dr. Randy Bartlett is the founder of this school on the south side. He spent his career teaching and working to improve education. School isn't the purpose of school. The purpose of school is preparing for uh, charting the, the path that you're going to lead in, in your life. City of Bridges is a private high school that will enroll only about 25 students with financial aid available. Students will spend part of their day on traditional core subjects, but will spend big blocks of time on projects with professionals, both inside and outside the school. All of the, the content is, is delivered in a way that is, it has purpose and therefore is much more engaging and meaningful uh, to students. With the city as a classroom, students may study water quality at the river, attend a trial, or take part in a cultural event, all with a focus on justice and equality. The goal is to help students find a passion, learn to work collaboratively, and bring good to the world. What's your purpose? How are you going to make a positive impact in the world? And that framework then allows us to have real experiences in school. The Holy Spirit School here in Millville closed in 2010, but could reopen as the Ready Performing Arts Charter School, focusing on performing arts and also offering kids an associate degree while they're in high school. Ken Nickel is the guiding force behind the Ready Performing Arts Charter School. That stands for Redefining Education, Achieving Associate Degrees for Youths. The school hopes to get approval from the Shaler District this year and to open in the fall of 2020. Being a professional dancer myself way back, uh, I believe that kids need the opportunities to have their talent come out. Nickel was a successful professional ballet dancer and is excited to put this auditorium to use with classes in theater, dance and music, as well as culinary arts in the former school's cafeteria kitchen. But Nickel says academics are just as important. I think that's just as equally important, important for me to make sure that these kids can realize, hey, I have a talent, might not get to the pros, but I can do something else with it. That's one reason Nickel wants to offer students the chance to earn an associate's degree in partnership with CCAC while they're in high school. He knows dancers often need a second career after injury or retirement at a young age. I'm from Greenfield. I started my career at Pittsburgh Valley Theater. Um, I was 21 principal. So giving back, I think I like to do that. Now, the first school I talked about, City of Bridges, is opening this fall, and they have an open house this Saturday with a workshop and Q&A from 930 to 1130. You can register on their website, and we have a link to it on Kidsburg's site. You'll find that at kdka.com slash Kidsburg. This is very interesting. You know, we have children. We right. deal with sending them to school, and some subjects are boring, so this <laughs> is a way to you know, get around that, get in, the kids interested in it other is. things. Um, and it seems like this is, you mentioned it's a trend, and we're seeing more schools yeah, like this there pop are. Up. There are a lot of charter schools and private schools opening, and this is part of this whole idea of thinking about new ways of teaching. And, in fact, the environmental charter school in the East End, they're going to be opening a new high school as well, starting in the fall of 2020. They'll start with ninth grade, and then as each year goes on, they'll add additional grades. So it is very interesting to see how things are changing. All right, Christine, thanks so much.